Phishing attacks are one of the most common security threats organizations face today. This video will demonstrate how phishing attacks work and how to recognize them. Hey, Tina. Bad luck, Ben. I haven't seen you for years. What are you doing here? I just joined Megacorp 1 on the sales team. What about you? Oh, nice. I work on the IT team. Technical Tina. Can you help me out with something? I've been receiving these emails from Salesforce. Oh, see? Look! Here's another one. Huh. Well, I know you just started, but someone must be trying to fish you already. We don't use Salesforce here. Let's go grab a coffee. Hmm. I did post about this new job on all of my socials. I was really excited. I totally get it. Unfortunately, sharing this kind of thing can open you up to risk. I got a link. So what's clicking on it going to do? That's exactly it. It's hard to protect yourself against an attack when you don't know how or why it works, or what dangers you're now exposed to. Dangers? Does this mean I'm a target? Could be. Attackers can target companies or individuals. Phishing involves sending an email like the one you got in hopes that you'll share your personal information. Once the attackers can access your account, it can spell trouble. Attackers will try to obtain the following information. Credit card numbers, usernames, and passwords. Initial access can then lead to money being stolen, credentials being accessed, the viewing or exfiltration of sensitive or proprietary data, committing sabotage and causing damage, disrupting systems, or deploying ransomware. Oh, but you said we don't use Salesforce, so how would interacting with this phishing email lead to that kind of damage? You would have given out enough information for an attacker to target you, Megacorp 1, or both. Let me show you how phishing attacks work. I've just written some HTML code that looks almost exactly like a Salesforce login page. Now I'll host it on a web server running from my laptop and I'll send you an email with a link to the page I just created. Okay. I want to show you how attackers get your credentials during these types of phishing attacks. Now click on the link I sent. Wow, this looks so real. Exactly. Attackers work hard to make everything look legit. Now, normally I wouldn't ask, but since we're walking through this together, go ahead and enter your username and password. Just make sure to change your password when we're done. It's a password I've used for a long time. Guess I'll need to update a bunch of my accounts. Take a look at what I can see in my web logs. Oh, wow. Now, if I was a malicious attacker, I've got your credentials. If you reuse that password, I might be able to log in to any of the company's websites or services, which is exactly how a lot of real life attacks happen. If you ever receive another phishing email or fall for an attack, let IT know right away. The sooner they're aware of a potential threat, the better. You're not alone. Phishing can happen to any of us. That's why we always need to keep an eye out. Okay, but how would I recognize a phishing attack if you weren't around? Good question. There are a few things that you can do. First, pay attention to unexpected requests. In this case, no one on your team has mentioned using Salesforce. So ask a colleague, a manager, or even IT to verify that the company uses that service. Second, check the sender's email address. Attackers will use slight misspellings that you may not spot if you glance quickly or are in a rush. So check that it's the correct domain name if you don't recognize the person emailing you. Third, check the URL to see whether it's HTTP or HTTPS. Here, the link is HTTP, which means that the data is unencrypted or sent in plain text. Phishing attacks can also use HTTPS, but it's much easier when the credentials are easily readable. Lastly, look for suspicious URLs. The link at the bottom of the email is an IP address, not a domain. If you hover over the hyperlink, it also leads to this IP. More sophisticated attacks would have used the same misspelled domain name used in the from email address. If you're ever unsure about an email you've received, confirm the contents directly with the sender or your manager. 
just don't respond to the original message because you could be talking to the attacker. You can use Slack, send a text message, or call them. Yeah, I didn't even think of that. Attackers can use different types of phishing, like spear phishing, which are targeted attacks, and smishing, which is phishing via text messages. Did you hear about the Sony Pictures leak? Uh, no. Mm. A phishing attack tricked top executives into revealing credentials, leading to a massive data breach. They lost over a hundred million dollars. Do you know Mark Cuban? Of course. Did you know he was the victim of a phishing attack through social engineering? Wow. No, I didn't. Remember what I said. Phishing can happen to any of us. You can protect yourself by using unique passwords for every different website and service, enabling two-factor authentication wherever possible, always verifying suspicious communication, and using a sentence as your passphrase as opposed to a single word password. Being aware can help both you and your employer stay protected. Attackers won't just try targeting you at work. They may try targeting you using your socials, email, phone number, and other various ways. Thanks, Tina. Would you like to grab lunch tomorrow? I'd love to learn more. Of course.